Well, indeed, James, we have. And it's nice that the bull has now wandered off, so I don't need to deal with his delinquency this afternoon, which is fantastic. And now we can just enjoy the beautiful short trunk herd and watch them as they come down to drink. The little babies are being so cute. They're a little bit nervous of coming too close to the edge of the water. It's because it's such a steep angle where they've decided to drink that they're almost slipping into the water. And you can see the baby's a little bit kind of weary of getting too close. So they're sort of trying to stretch their trunks as far as possible to drink. And look at how she's able to drink. It amazes me watching her when she drinks. She kind of bends and bows her head and she picks it up and then look, she squirts it in. It's almost like a jet spray that goes into her mouth. Now hopefully she'll do it one more time for us and face us that we can actually see it. There we go, see? It's like a jet. It's going straight in. You are so clever. So even though she has this sort of disability now, she's still able to survive. It really is astounding to watch. And these little ones that are with them are some of the cutest baby elephants I've seen in a long time. I don't know why. They just seem to be full of joy and life. And they come. They came bounding down to the water ahead of their moms, running with lots of joy on their face almost as they were kind of approaching. And, you know, an elephant always loves a bit of water, so even the babies. And look at the little one's face just peeking through the bottom. Yes, you are a special herd. Even though it's a small herd, it's not nearly the same size as what Fang's herd would be. They are still a very special herd indeed, and it's always great to spend time with them. Hello. <laughs> it is so peaceful when you sit with elephants at a water hole. So, Suzanne, you're wondering how thick an elephant's skin is. Now, Suzanne, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. Suzanne, it depends where we're talking. So if we look on the sort of trunk area, that skin is going to be very thick. It's going to be almost an inch thick around the trunk. Whereas if we look around the ears, the ears skin is very, very, very thin. And the reason that for that is because the trunk skin is used all the time. The trunk is used to pick up logs. It's used to break branches, some of them covered in thorns. So it needs a very thick skin in order to protect that trunk and to make sure the trunk is not damaged in any way. The ears, on the other hand, needs to be very thin skin because that helps with the cooling of the body. So as they flap their ear, so they cool down the body and cooling those veins that sit just underneath that very very thin skin if we then go back onto the sort of body and the legs of the the elephant the skin then starts to get thicker again you'll find that it'll be probably between sort of an inch and two inches thick in places as it protects the body from varying sort of tree stumps and branches as they negotiate their way through these savanna thickets so it is quite interesting that their sort of skin depends on where you're looking on the body itself but you lot must have been very thirsty because this is quite a long drink for elephants. Often you'll find that females don't drink for very long. They kind of come down and they drink and then they go again. And I surmise the reason why they're drinking for a long period of time is because we're in a situation where this morning has been very cold, very windy, and most of the elephants would have tried to seek some sort of refuge from the wind. They would have spent their time in a thicket somewhere, and now that it's kind of the wind is dying down just a little bit, so they've come out and now it's time to drink. So they wouldn't have drank too much this morning, which means it's now time to sort of get their daily intake of water. So Gail, you're asking, is that the entire herd? Yes, Gail, it is. It's two adult females and two babies. So this is how many there are in this herd. It is a very small herd, and it's not uncommon to see this. You often do see these sort of separations happening, in particularly in the winter months, when food becomes a little bit more scarce and water becomes a bit more scarce. Sometimes you'll find a sort of breakup of the herds, and then at the end of winter, when water becomes a real big problem, then you'll find the herds almost coming together again because they have to sort of congregate around the last remaining water sources and then summer arrives and there's lots of rain and lots of vegetation and they'll kind of then break apart as they go off and feed in their own areas and you'll find that those elephants that do rejoin often are related in some way but they just distribute away from each other during these sort of periods where it's difficult to find water and then join again when food becomes a little bit more sort of available and like I say right at the end of winter when there really isn't too many water sources available but there we go oh careful don't snip would have been interesting to see a reaction had 
Boris the Blade had been here. Now, those of you who don't know Boris the Blade, Boris the Blade is a crocodile that Brent affectionately named that spent some time here in this particular um, water source. And it would have been interesting if Boris was here with that baby elephant because that baby elephant is definitely of size that Boris could go after it. And particularly with a small herd like this with only these two females, sometimes a crocodile might be tempted into going after a baby elephant. And it would have just been a, sort of an interesting interaction between the elephants and the crocodile had he been here. But alas, he's not here today, which means that the babies are free to play around. Are you coming for another drink? We've been very thirsty. I always have to laugh at baby elephants when they come down for water because generally they go right up next to their moms and their moms are normally sort of so preoccupied with drinking that they don't really look around them and they do exactly what this baby is doing now where they suck the surface water off and then they spray it out again and they end up spraying it all over each other and the other day Jamie had a... S So, Gaping Raven, you were actually wondering about the surface water and whether they drink it. And no, they try and avoid it as much as possible because it's filled with all kinds of debris. So they try and disturb the surface and then they drink from there. Now, I think that's time for them to go. And I was saying earlier that Jamie had a sighting, in fact, right here at Tundams where Baby came to drink and its mom threw a whole bunch of water into its face and it ended up getting completely sprayed by it. So it does happen from time to time. I wonder why they've stopped all of a sudden. They were walking quite quickly and now they've just stopped. It almost looks like they're listening. And this will sometimes happen when it's windy conditions like this. They pick up something and they hear something and then they just stop and they'll, you'll see the ears push out a little bit and they then listen to what's going on. But what an incredible afternoon. Well, sighting that was. That was very pleasant. I'm glad our naughty bull decided not to stick around and give us any more trouble because he was being very feisty. And... What's wrong, girl? What have you seen? I wonder if it's because they can smell where that bull was. This is where the bull turned around to come back at us just now. And maybe his scent of his must, because he was dribbling heavily, is what's getting her a little bit sort of anxious. That's why her ears are out and she's displaying quite a bit now. Let's see how it goes. I wonder if she might not just turn and go the opposite direction now and away from where she can smell this male elephant. You saw her reaction when the male elephant approached earlier. Her ears flared out and she was kind of looking at him and seeing what was going on. It looks like she's calming down. Right, well, we'll probably spend a little bit longer with short tr trunk and see how she goes. 